Hey guys, Chris Peach here and welcome to Money Peach TV. Hey, do you remember growing up learning how to handle money? Yeah, neither do I. So that's why we're here today to make money fun again. We're gonna talk about the principles in life that matter when it comes to managing your money the right way. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Money Peach TV. Before we jump into this incredible episode of Money Peach TV, I wanna take a second to talk to you guys about my number one online program for showing you how to go from eh, with money to being awesome with money, and that's Awesome Money Course. So head on over to awesomemoneycourse.com so you can see why people all over the world are taking advantage of this number one online program for showing you how to be awesome with your money. Alrighty guys, we are back again with another incredible episode of Money Peach TV. So this is episode nine, where we're gonna talk about retiring a millionaire. But just to recap, last episode, if you haven't checked that one out yet, I'm gonna tell you exactly why car payments suck. So make sure you check that one out. It translates into this one about retiring a millionaire very well. So here's the deal. This is what brought up this episode, is I recently met with a lady, she was 60 years old, we were going over her budget, and we were looking at her assets. And one of the things I noticed is she's 60 years old, she's getting ready to retire, and she had $10,000 in her 401k, $10,000. That's what she had saved up in her working career. And I remember I was looking at this and I said, that's just not enough. And here's what it translates to. So this 60 year old had $10,000. And if you use the 4% average that America uses or the industry uses as far as how much money you're gonna pull off your nest egg to live off of, so your nest egg never runs out, this nest egg would last her until age 90. So it would last her 30 years, but all she could pull off was $30 a month. So she saved for retirement so she could have a dollar a day. That's sad. And that bothered me, it bothered the hell out of me because I thought, this is not okay, this is normal America. A recent study shows that 45% of people out there in the work, that are in the uh, work field, they are not putting any money away for retirement. 45%, so let's just say nearly half. Nearly half of the people out there are not saving in their 401ks or in their Roth IRAs or any kind of saving. They're expecting the government to take care of them. Have you guys seen how the government takes care of money? Have you seen this? They're horrible at it. And that's who you're relying on to take care of you. Terrible plan. So I tell people all the time, I think you can retire a millionaire. Actually, no, I don't think that. I know you can retire a millionaire. And here's why. So let's say the average American right now saves or makes $52,000 a year. That was one of the census bureaus. They reported back $52,000 a year average household income. Okay, I think that's a pretty good income. So you're making $52,000 a year. Now, what we do regularly in life is we just spend every dollar that comes in. So we don't know how to live on less than we make because the average car payment is $478 over 82 months. You know, the average checking account balance is $100 or less. You know, six out of 10 people can't write a check for $1,000. Seven out of 10 are paycheck to paycheck. Basically what I'm saying is we suck at handling money. That's why we're here at Money Peach TV. But to go further is how can we better this? What can we do? So what if I said you only needed 15% of your income? Okay, 15% of your income. That's not that much if you think about it. For every $100, I want you to set aside 15. So if you could set aside 15% of your income and you were average, you made $52,000 a year, and you did this, and you did this for the course of 30 years, you would retire with $1.4 million. Let me repeat that. If you make $52,000 a year, and you save 15% of that, and you put that into a good mutual fund over the course of a 30 year working career, you'll, you will retire with $1.4 million. And this is just looking at the history. Obviously we can't predict the future, but this is just looking at the history and what the past has done. So people are asking me, well, where are you getting this number from? I'm using a 10% rule. And people are saying, you're just, Chris, there's no way you can get 10% in the market. Have you seen what's been going on? Well, let me tell you this. Do you realize that every 10 year period any 10 year period anywhere in the market has made money except for one 10 year period, except for 2000 to 2010. And the reason why is we were coming off the dot com bubble burst, we had the twin towers that fell, we did a war, and then we went through the worst recession we've ever had since the Great Depression. But besides that, every 10 year period in the history has made money. And to take that a step further, every 15 year period, 100% of them has made money in the market. So I, I go back a little bit further. Let's go back to the 1920s when the S&P 500, that's when it started, the inception of the S&P 500. Since then, it's averaged 10%. So that's where I came up with this 10% rule. I'm not including inflation and all that, but I'm saying, yes, if you put your money in the market for 30 years, I think 
you're going to make 10%. I'm banking on that myself. So let's say I'm half wrong. Let's say I, I think that I, you can make $1.4 million. You could be a net worth millionaire by the time you retire. What if I'm half wrong? All right, then you're only getting $750,000. I apologize. The point is, this 60-year-old woman that I met with, she had $10,000 in her 401k. $10,000 is not enough money to survive. We know that. So she's going to have to rely on the government to take care of her. And we all know how the government takes care of money. It's, it's ridiculous. It's horrible. I think my dog could do a better job of taking care of money. So with that said, how should you be investing? You know, I get this question asked all the time, Chris, how should I be investing? Where should I be putting my money? The first step that I recommend is you have to look for a company match. So a lot of you, a lot of you have 401ks at work or some kind of company match. Take advantage of that. That's called free money. So let's just do a little scenario here. Let's say you make $50,000 a year. Okay. I want you to invest 15% of that 50,000. So that's $7,500. We have to think we have $7,500 a year that we have to put somewhere in retirement accounts. So how are we going to do this? Well, the first is you're going to take advantage of that company match. So let's say the company match is, I don't know, 3%. So you're going to take 3% of that money and you're going to 3% of that $7,500 and you're going to stick it in the 401k. Then I want you to go into your Roth IRAs. Right now, as we're speaking, Roth IRAs, you can put $5,500 per person. So if you're married, that's $11,000 a year you could put inside a Roth IRA. Then I want you to go back after you fill those up. And if you have money left over, let's go back and fill up that 401k. As of the time I'm speaking right now, you could put $18,000 into your 401k. Now, there's also a little extra here. Let's say you're age 50 or older. You can add money. It's called a catch-up period. You can add $6,000 to your 401k, and you can add $1,000 to your Roth IRA. So you have the opportunity to put in money. Now, I know what you're thinking. Chris, I'm, I have my calculator out here, and... And 15% of $52,000, that's, that's $650 a month. I can't afford that. Wrong. You're choosing not to afford that because you're driving a car with a $650 car payment. Or you have credit card payments that are minimum of five to $600 a month. Or you are living way outside of your means. What I'm asking you to do is reevaluate your life. Do you want to retire a millionaire? Or do you want to retire with a $10,000 balance in your 401k? The choice is yours. And I'll take this a step further. If you are 20 years old, or you know someone that is 20 years old and they're listening to this, congratulations, I just made you a multimillionaire because now you have 40 years to save until retirement. 40 years to save, you would be amazed with the amount of money you guys could create in your lifetime. So the choice is simple. Retire a millionaire by choice or choose to live paycheck to paycheck with no money in the bank, and making payments for the rest of your life to people that are going to be taking your money and growing it for growing it for themselves. Is that what you want? That's that's the lifestyle we used to live and I can tell you once we paid off our $52,000 in debt and once we went and we started investing and being intentional with our money over the course of the last 5 years watching our money grow has been one of the most exciting things we have done because Andrew and I look at each other and we think we're going to be okay. No, no. We're going to be more than okay because we're saving 15% of our gross income. Guys, this is doable. I want you guys to get going. So head on over to moneypeach.com, session nine. I'm going to have the links in there. I'm also going to put an investment calculator in there because I want you to take advantage of learning about this and seeing the hope for your future because there is hope. You just have to believe in yourself that you can do this. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's episode of Money Peach TV. Next week, we're going to talk about mortgages and why I think the 30-year mortgage is absolute garbage. We're going to talk about that. But before you go, remember, moneypeach.com forward slash session nine. Take care. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Money Peach TV. But before you leave, I want you to leave with a free gift. Go to moneypeach.com and please download my free budgeting form. 12,000 people as of today all over the world are using this thing every single month. I want you to be one of them as well. The number one habit of highly successful people is being proactive. Be proactive by getting on a budget. Moneypeach.com. Download the budget there. And also, don't forget to check out awesomemoneycourse.com, the number one online program for taking you from eh with your money to showing you how to truly manage your money the right way. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Boom.